Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I will show you how to make this mesmerizing abstract painting with alcohol inks, gold leaf and uh, some glitter and we are also doing some doodling in between like you see the black areas. So uh, I would love to share my techniques, tips and tricks and also most importantly I will show you um, the safety tips that you need to take while making alcohol ink paintings because it's very important and it's very dangerous medium to use if you don't follow some tips and for safety like you can see i'm making this painting outdoor in a well ventilated area uh, near, near my apartment i'm you uh, sitting on a bench and making this alcohol paint, ink painting so uh, there is no risk of inhaling the fumes or anything if you do it outside and in a safe place so that's the important thing and hello everyone again i'm using uh, this paper called um, uh, photo paper which i got from stationery stores you could also use an uh, upo paper but this was uh, less expensive so i like to practice on this one and one side of the paper will be glossy and the other side is not glossy so for alcohol ink you have to use the side which is not glossy because earlier i made the mistake of using the other side and it didn't come out properly so let's uh, do that and for this painting i'm uh, not using any blowing techniques just uh, with my hand pump uh, i will make this painting because we are making this outdoor in a safe place so that's uh, uh, we cannot uh, plug in the mini dryer or something that's why i am bringing with me the hand pump you could make this painting sitting in a park or anywhere outdoors or if you have a well ventilated studio that also is good so for this painting uh, the basic colors that i'm using is a golden yellow a copper and a teak wood color something close to that wood color that i'm making so and for the alcohol i'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol which i showed you earlier and i filled it in a small bottle so first i add some drops of gold golden yellow and a few drops of uh, wood teak wood color and couple of drops of copper for the metallic effect So this is the hand blower that I'm using. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box. And I put the uh, isopropyl alcohol in a tiny bottle, which also uh, got it from Amazon. The small bottle with a uh, nozzle. So it's easy for me to drop the alcohol in. And while uh, blowing, you make sure you blow it in all directions. however you want the abstract painting to look like it's all up to your imagination you can uh, blow it in any direction and adding a few more drops of alcohol and i forgot to tell you when you drop the, the initial drops you have to wait until the drops are dry before you start adding alcohol that is very important otherwise uh, it will get smudged so first layer i waited until it's fully dry now adding some more drop of the wood color again The best thing about doing outdoors is it's less uh, risky to inhale because all the fumes will be escaped into the air. So, and also make sure not to keep the paper close to your face and inhale the fumes. So keep it at a distance. 
so basically i'm just keeping on adding alcohol and uh, waiting it for it to spread out and then i am blowing it and while blowing i am not using much pressure just a gently squeeze if you want high pressure air to come you can squeeze it hard but i'm squeezing it very gently in all directions if you want the edges to be soft then blow from the edge towards inside so it will be more softer Sometimes I use the mini blower that I got from Amazon but for this painting I'm not using it because the, that's a little risky to inhale that hot air And it's also safer to wear gloves but I didn't wear it but uh, you may want to do that so that the alcohol links doesn't get into contact with the skin and also make sure your kids are not around while making this painting because you don't want them to inhale all the bad fumes the reason we are waiting for the alcohol uh, to is, is that because uh, you need that alcohol to spread into the paint and create that interesting effect that's why we wait until it is uh, blended with the other areas that's why i'm not blowing it immediately after pouring alcohol see you can see the marble like effect in this painting is really pretty i'm waiting and see how you get the soft edges if you blow from all directions if you want want more soft edges i would pour more alcohol near the edge area and then blow from outside towards the center that's how you get those super soft edges which gives the marble effect you can absolutely st stop this painting at this point if you like but i want to experiment it more but even at this stage it looks like a perfectly finished abstract painting with marble effect but sometimes i tend to overdo my doodling and uh, my painting so it's your judgment when to stop an abstract painting like this I hope you are enjoying my video. Uh, I would love if you could please subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends. And I really appreciate that because I feel more encouraged if uh, my friends are watching my video and sharing. That really gives me motivation to make more art. And I almost uh, make a painting every single day because that's my relaxation. Even if I go to work, I uh, set aside some time for myself to make some small painting because that gives me peace of mind and really helps with my health and also please do, uh, don't forget to sub, uh, i mean click the notification bell icon so whenever i post a new video you will be the first one to get notified See the best part of alcohol inks I like is that when we drop the alcohol it blends into the other color and it's really nice texture and it's very mesmerizing to watch it
and since i'm doing outdoor like i said earlier i don't need to worry like inhaling the fumes and stuff like that like you can see i'm doing little by little by adding small drops of alcohol in i mean alcohol and then blending it and then uh, blowing so now i'm adding some copper again i love anything shiny so i tend to use more uh, metallic paints and if you watch till the end of the video uh, you can see that uh, i will be also using gold leaf and also some glitter so you may want to check out till the end i think i poured a little too much of copper but you can adjust your ink based on what you like to see like i said earlier i tend to overdo sometimes that's the problem and i don't know when to stop So I'll stop talking and then I'll let you watch this video and please stick around till the end I will come back again with my narration on how to do the gold leaf So I hope you enjoy my video
So let's add some gold leaf. I'm using the uh, tacky glue for this purpose, uh, transparent tacky glue to stick my gold leaf. So I put a small amount on the marble base and then applying with a brush. Basically, it's up to your imagination. You can add uh, the gold leaf in any area that you like, but I'm just picking one spot to show you an example. Just apply the tacky glue with a brush lightly. And this gold leaf flakes is a mix of all colors that I got from the art store. You get a, a complete mix in a packet. So I using, I'm using that to stick it into this uh, tacky glue. Just to sprinkle it very gently. And uh, lightly press with uh, finger. There is also a other type of gold leaf available which is just pure gold but I like a mix of everything and later on I'm pressing it with a tissue paper on top of this gold leaf just to give a gentle press to stick it on to my painting. And as you can see it gives a subtle shine which adds to the beauty of this painting. Instead of gold leaf, you can also add glitter. It's all up to your imagination. And I'm adding one more spot of gold leaf and applying the tacky glue. If you feel this is not uh, good for you, you can totally ignore this gold leaf and just uh, skip this portion. It's just purely optional. This mix consists of a gold, copper, uh, some red color uh, foil, everything is a mix. So I'm gently pressing. And uh, after that you can brush off the excess gold leaf with the hand or tissue paper. Now I think I might add some glitter because I love shiny and uh, shimmering abstract painting. That's why I add glitter. After this I will add that. brush the excess portion, excess gold leaf. And now I'm using a pen, Micron 005 thin pen to make some doodles. Just random designs here and there with the this pen.
So now let's add some glitter and again the same process just apply tacky glue. And adding multicolor, I mean it's called iridescent glitter which reflects all multiple colors so I'm adding sprinkle of those. You could add any type of glitter that you have. If you like golden yellow, you can add that also. This is totally optional. If you don't like glitter or gold, you can totally skip it. And I'll let you watch the till the end of the video. And once you add glitter, then the next step will be to, to dust off the excess portion, excess uh, glitter. And similarly add to this side also. Once you finish this painting, you let it dry and then once it's completely dry, you can varnish it with some acrylic sealer or something so that the gold leaf glitter and everything will remain intact and the shine will be retained. So make sure to do that varnish part and thank you again for watching and uh, see you again in my next video. I hope you have a great day and a happy painting.